Hello Gemini gang, welcome to this video. So this is for your soulmates, well it's for you about your soulmates, so it's going to be um, telling you all about them, what they've been doing, if they're still interested in you, um, so that's with the tarot cards. Next we have then is the soulmate cards and then I have some hand, few handwritten messages for you from what they have from their heart and what they've got from their mind and what they've been meaning to tell you and haven't got around to telling you yet. So cross watchers you're more than welcome to see this, take whatever can resonate with you. Same goes for Gemini, just take whatever can resonate with you and just leave the rest. Okay, so we first have for you is the reversed moon card. Still it, that's it. So the reversed moon card is someone that has some bad temptations, um, but they will be overcoming all them temptations. So maybe they they're with you in a relationship, or they was with you in a relationship, and there's other things that kept tempting them, but they constantly um try their best to overcome them you know just to stick to one thing um there is some advantage that they tend to be taken of people so they might have been taking some advantage of you at some point um but there is some realization you know they finally recognizing the damage they have done in a relationship um with yourselves so they may have done a lot and at first they couldn't see the damage that they was doing to the relationship you know the strain of things they finally now recognizing what they've actually done you know they uh, they come into terms with it they're going to try themselves you know to solve it there is some or was some crisis that they was going through with their um, eight of swords, um, they was feeling like they was imprisoned. You know, they was all stuck in the air. They had a lot of mental conflict, um, but there was a lot of criticism. You know, you may have had um, you was having criticism, or they was having a lot of criticism thrown at them, and they was you know getting sick and tired over it, and you were sitting tired of it as well. And that caused a lot of problems for the both of you. And it made either yourself or this person very mentally sick. You know, they just didn't know what to do anymore. They was making themselves bad over it. But they, you may have seen it or they just have a big cover up, so to speak. They was covering it up. Um... Next we have is the Judgment card in reverse. So the Judgment card in reverse. So this is all to do with a lot of delays. Um, there was um, some incapacity to understand some facts that was going on. So they, they couldn't think um, what they was doing at the time. They didn't realise how much hurt and heartbreak they was causing on your behalf. They just thought um, everything was going great and everything was going fine when in fact they was the one that was ruining the relationship. Um, there may have been a lot of indecision making and maybe this is um, coming to terms with a divorce or needed to go separate ways. Um, so that's what they ended up thinking about. So they had some decision making to be done. But they was very indecided with that one. And they may have been involved in some type of theft as well. So that's coming up in the cards. It might be some type of theft. Um, and things needed to come to terms with that. Next we have is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is... There's someone that can be of friendship. Um, there's a lot of meaning behind it. There may have been a little bit of a loss, you know, loss of um, being friends and having that same um, happiness as they did in the beginning. Um, also, there was a lot of imperfections with this person. They could tell. 
but they didn't want to admit to it, so to speak. And with this person, they had come into some type of inheritance as well. So that may have made them change, you know, their being the way they were. Now, we have the devil in reverse next. Oops, he's fallen. Uh, just keep it down like that. So we have the devil next in reverse. Um, this person, they're releasing from you, you know, they're releasing from another lover maybe as well. They're trying their best to release from this person that they no longer love anymore. And they are li literally being released from it, you know. Everything that don't serve them no longer, they get rid of it. All the attachments that they had, um, all the feelings that they had, they're releasing it. You know, they're releasing it away. Um, it's like they don't want it no more. They just want to face facts and just move on with their life. Um, but there is some um, recognition that they can see of your needs and they can see what you need and what you deserve. Maybe you don't deserve to be treated the way that they've been treated you and they're literally facing, you know, that reality now of what they've done wrong. Then we have the last card then, which is the Hermit card in reverse. So a hermit card in reverse is all about some confusion. So there's a lot of confusion with this person. They have done something or they're doing something without being very careful. So they was doing something that they was not being very careful about. So they may have been watched um, or they was doing things that they got caught out. You know, they got caught in act sort of thing. Um, they had no consideration of any of the consequences that they pursued um, and they were very very immature about it and now they're facing the facts and the realizations of that. Now we're on the soulmate cards so the first one we have is you my beloved are like a ray of golden sunshine I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away and all that is left is pure joy thank you my beloved soulmate. Your soulmate's love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and feel it unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two souls radiating for the entire world to feel. I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from the most benevolent universe. A great love life requires intimacy, trust and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubts and fears, likes and dislikes. Talk openly, listen, be present, always with an open heart and mind. Now, here is the messages that's coming from their heart, coming from their mind and what they want to tell you from the deep down in their soul. So we have here... My nerves has been getting the best of me. My nerves has been getting the best of me. I thought about us living together. I thought about us getting, sorry, living together. I've been astral projecting to you. I've been astral projecting to you. Why can't you just tell me what you feel? Because now your heart is confusing me. Why can't you just tell me what you feel? Because how you act is confusing me. I love you. I love you. There's just something about you. I'm scared to lose because I know I won't find it in anyone else. There's just something about you I'm scared to lose because I know I won't find it in anyone else. I can't stop thinking about you. 
you're on my mind 24 7 i can't stop thinking about you you're on my mind 24 7. we are in each other's life for a reason thank you for showing up we are in each other's life for a reason thank you for showing up i'm sorry for hurting you I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. Okay, Gemini gang, that was your reading about your soulmates. I hope you can all resonate. If you can't, don't worry. Just take what you can. I hope you all stay safe and staying well. And see you all again soon. Goodbye.